when you want the truth, and when you want the facts, you better watch no filter, because I got your back, ain't no ducking, ain't no dodging, ain't no scheming, ain't no hiding, cause I got that work, you wanna get this work, you wanna get this work, you about to get this work. everybody welcome back to no filter news and talk and it's your girl ingrid big shout out to all my subs out there you guys rock even when i'm not dropping videos y'all still subbing y'all still liking sharing subscribing look and if you want to be a part of the no filter news and talk family all you got to do is hit that like button subscribe um hit the notification bell you know all of that but but i have i do have one requirement well what's that <laughs> you got to put on your thinking cap and then come on over. We welcome you with open arms. Yes, we do a little critical thinking over here. It's, it gets a little too hot over here sometime for the people. But um, I welcome you. Now, let's just get jump right in. We're still talking about what we're talking about. We're talking about the coronavirus. We're talking about this coronavirus. Now, I was going back and forth a little bit with some people on Facebook. So, I just decided to drop a video because I'm not finna type and battle with you. I just drop a video, you know, just to give you my thoughts on it. And I'm going to give my people my thoughts on it. And then, we'll just go from there. Okay. Well, I'm not saying don't take it serious. That's number one. I'm not saying that. I'm not. You can take this serious. Okay. They telling you to stay in the house. Stay in the house because you don't want to catch whatever. <laughs> Hold on, somebody. Whatever it is that's out there. Okay. You don't want to. You want to keep your family safe. Um, and and you should I, I follow the demands of the people. Do I think that is real? Like. You know, the pandemic and the panic and, and and how everybody is doing. Do I think it's real? Hell to the no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. No. The coronavirus been here. It's been here. It's like a common cold. It's like a common cold. The coronavirus been here. Now, when you get to the hospital, I don't know what they're going to tell you. You you probably already got a pre-existing condition. You go to the hospital at this time and you just, just say you got diabetes. And you know it's your diabetes. You know, you ain't got your medication, your blood sugar low. They going to probably tell you at this time that it's the coronavirus. Can I get somebody? They want the numbers to continue to go up. Now, they just had an article, not only just a Facebook post, because somebody said, well, you believe Facebook posts, but you don't believe, uh, you don't believe what the news say. It's an actual real news article that the test was giving out false positives. You didn't read it, you, but, but you didn't read it, but, but you didn't read it. Come on, somebody. But then they say, well, us, well, we work in the medical field. They must don't know your medical history. So let me break down my medical history, my education a little bit. But um, just a little bit, because y'all know on this channel, I really don't give you that. But I'm going to give you my medical because I got degrees and other things. But let me just give you my medical. I'm going to give you a little bit medical. <laughs> okay. Um, I was a CNA first. Been there, done that. A MA. Been there, done that. And two semesters away from becoming an RN, but I stopped it. And I wanted to get off into natural healing and uh, natural teachings. I didn't want to do the medicine and, and the way that they do things. Because I just felt like God put natural things on this earth to heal our body. That's just how I feel. But the education is still there. Okay, come on, somebody. Now, that's just a little bit of... What I do, I really don't talk about myself on this channel too much. So that's just a little bit for the naysayers, you know, because they was feel like they were working the medical field. Or what, I, I don't, I don't, I didn't understand what was the point. But I got it now. Now, I don't believe I, the the virus have been out. It's like a common cold. 
it's like a common cold where they say, well, thousands and hundreds and, and all these people are dying. Do you know that they are dying from the coronavirus or are they dying from something else? You don't know. Oh, but you watch the news and you believe the news. What well, haven't Trump is saying his whole entire presidency that is fake news. Oh, he have. He have. He been saying it. It's fake news. So is it fake news or is it real news? So now he been saying it's fake, but you want us to listen to him now? They say it's fake news. We been know that they show whatever images that they want to show. We, we already know that. If you, if you control the what? The media. You control the who? The masses. They want to pump the fear and the panic in there. How come they never tell us about the cases of the, of the people who have been recovered? You never hear about the cases of the people who recovered from the virus. You only hear the negative. Why? That's to put fear inside of you and to keep fear inside of you. I ain't saying don't take it serious and stay home and listen to what they have to say. But you can't keep pumping your spirit up in there with all this news because you will go crazy. You don't know what to believe. And... So I, I bet you they shut down. They want you to shut down. They want you to stay in the house. And I understand that. And then they put these shutdown orders in place. But they keep the liquor stores open. And it makes me go, hmm, what's really going on? You know, you want a bunch of drunk people. Because that's all I've been seeing on my timeline anyway. Is a bunch of folk, oh, we getting messed up. We drinking. We doing this. We doing that. Okay, why the liquor stores can't close? That's not a major necessity. Open the grocery stores and the banks. You know, the, the places that you need. Why the liquor store? The liquor store is not a need. And, and all of them said, they said on the news, the liquor store. They didn't say the convenience store. They said the liquor store. Okay, so... <laughs> They want the liquor stores to stay open. And I, I really, really, I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm not laughing at the people. I'm laughing at the situation. So then people say, well, I feel what you were saying. But, you know, a friend of mine had it and they just been diagnosed and they died and this person died. How do you know they died from the coronavirus? They keep pushing this virus off on us while these CEOs are steady stepping down. They probably stepping down, going into those million dollar bunkers because they're getting ready to do something. You got to wake up and you got to be, you got to wake up people. You got to wake up. It's a bigger agenda behind it. And that's, and that's the thing. Create a problem. Offer a solution. Just like y'all was fighting for that tissue. Y'all going to be fighting for the vaccine. Y'all going to want to get the. Oh please. please y'all going to beg the government. Please give me the vaccine. Don't even know what's inside the vaccine. Probably still getting your kids vaccinated. And then you wonder why they got autism. I'm just saying. I ain't throwing shots. I'm being real. We don't know. They keep throwing, our only thing we know is they pushing this coronavirus. They not even telling us the people that recovered. You know, they saying, well, this person and that person, this person seem like they pick and choosing who they want to live or die. You know what I'm saying? We don't even know if it's the virus. It, like I said, people going to, to the doctor for one thing, next thing you know, they dying. They saying that, oh, it's the coronavirus. Yeah, that killed them. That killed them. I'm just saying, you got to think deeper. I can't, y'all will catch it in about two or three years. I can't make you think deeper. I can't make you dig deeper. I can't make you do your research. But they've been telling us about this whole situation. They've been doing it. They want to control the masses. People got too much power now. People have too much power and they don't like that. They don't like when you can think for yourself. That's why, they, that's why they put lead in your water. That's why they put fluoride in your toothpaste. Because they don't want you to think for yourself. They don't want your pineal gland to operate on, and, and, be, and be free from that. So you can start thinking for yourself. And so you can start vibrating higher. 
You know what I'm saying? They don't want that. They want to keep you boggled down, drunk. That's why they legalized the weed like they did the alcohol so that they can have their hand in it. They want their hand in it. They want you to pay these taxes on it. And then they want to keep you drunk and high all day so that they can constantly keep passing these bills and these laws right up under your nose. That's all I'm saying. So, no. You can get mad. You can call me whatever you call me. But I'm going to call you whatever I call you back. And I don't believe it. I don't. I believe anybody who go to the hospital right now, they're going to tell you you got coronavirus. We saw Idris Abel. They using the celebrities to push this. We saw Idris we saw people in the hospital bed that they said that they had. And then you look at, look at the celebrities. They healthy as fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys. You know, yeah, they said that I had to. I was tested in. And, right. He looked healthy as hell. If they can use them to push and push fear into the people, then they would do it. That's okay by them. I'm saying stop being so afraid. Stop being so afraid. If you're going to practice hand washing. That's a, the same thing, just like they told you. Oh, well, don't even wear a mask because the mask won't do nothing. How? How? What if it's airborne? What if it's bodily fluid droplets? So you telling me if I'm talking to you and you and you got it and you spit up on me by your conversation and I can catch it, but you tell me don't wear a mask? Huh? See, they tell you don't wear a mask this week. Next week, they tell you wear a mask. I'm just saying. Dig deeper, but I, this is not to go battle back and forth with people. Just start digging a little deeper. See, you're talking to a person who don't smoke weed. My brain is clear. <laughs> My shit not cloudy. Y'all shit might be cloudy, you know, so you don't see what I see and you will never get it. I ain't in the club 24 seven. I'm here. I'm focused. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I'm perfect because I don't have all the answers. I'm telling you for me, I don't believe it. And then you say you believe in who? Oh, they say they believe in God. But you fear and you panicking instead of instead of getting into God's word. You pushing what they pushing out here instead of knowing who your father is. You know what I'm saying? Get into your word. It's praying time. God will give you peace. I understand y'all are afraid, but don't lose your God dang on mind. I said God, G-O-T. Don't lose your mind over this situation. Don't do it. They've been talking about this for the longest. We don't know if it's being sprayed into the atmosphere. You do know about chemtrails, right? Am I making that up too? So they not spraying. You do know that this man right here last year in 2019, you do know that he teamed up with the Harvard scientists to block out the sun. Okay. He say for climate control or for whatever, but we know who get energy from the sun and we know who don't. So this man, he used, he teamed up with the Harvard scientists to block out the sun last year. So if the, if the heat kills the virus, well, why not? Why, I mean, why don't you keep it cold? If you want the virus to grow, why don't you keep it cold? Oh, well, they can't change the weather. You lying. They can't change the weather. They can't do that. Oh, they can't. They don't got they don't got stuff to change the weather. That's what I'm talking about. But then they say I'm crazy. I'm off that. <laughs> I'm off that. I'm saying take precautions, but don't get sucked in. You actually might need to just log off of places that got this constantly on the news. The virus been here. It's been the, it was like a common cold. Our bodies is supposed is supposed to fight off different viruses and bacteria. Once we and when we have a strong immune system, this was this is something so simple. And the people that you see that's in the hospital that know somebody that know somebody that know somebody that's in the hospital, you don't know if it's this. You don't know if this if it's this. <laughs> but that's my time. Peace. Yeah, man.
names, though, right? We not. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Hey, listen, man. Every single solitary black person <laughs> is seeing my face and hearing my voice. Look. Don't y'all bring y'all black ass out there. Take no more 